Now a child safety alert. The increased availability of marijuana around the country is making it easier for kids to get their hands on the drug. And now we're learning that more and more of them are ending up in the hospital as a result. According to a study, the number of children admitted to emergency rooms for unintentional marijuana intoxication jumped 133% in France between 2004 and 2014. A similar trend has been found here in the U.S. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker visited a local emergency room to get a pediatrician's take, and she's joining us live. Fran. You know, I couldn't get exact numbers of how many kids have been admitted to the ER here in Northeast Florida, but I did find this was interesting when the pediatrician that I spoke with said the marijuana smoke is just as deadly as the smoke that comes from cigarettes. So parents, if you don't want your child touching or inhaling cigarette smoke, then make sure nothing dealing with marijuana is in their reach. The fear and the danger of recreational use of marijuana is that these drugs can be left unattended. I had mentioned before, they really look appealing to children. It's a problem that is growing across the nation. And right here in Orange Park Medical Center, pediatric emergency physician Dr. Anita Narisiman says she's no stranger to these cases. Children ingesting marijuana and being admitted to emergency rooms at alarming rates. The vast majority of cases that I see tend to be intentional use of marijuana products, um, but it is something that we have to keep an eye out because almost 13% of the population in the United States is using marijuana. She says many of those products can be in appealing desserts like cookies, brownies, and candies that contain higher levels of THC than what's normally found in marijuana cigarettes. The effects on children can include asthma, allergies, becoming drowsy, and if infants are exposed, there can be neurological damage with catastrophic effects. Kids being a lower body weight than adults often can have sort of more serious effects, and those effects can range from breathing troubles, like I mentioned, where they can lose their impulse to breathe, um, they can have seizures, um, they can also have, with the synthetic marijuana's cardiac effects. And when I asked her what parents should do to make sure that their kids aren't harmed in this situation, she said she has to acknowledge the overall uh, use of drugs is a problem in our nation. But she says put your children first. And if you are going to have drugs anywhere in the house, make sure they are out of their reach. Put it in some type of, um, excuse me, put it in some type of uh, cabinet if you can, or just put it up in your home. For now, reporting live, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.